stress out like it was shampoo. You should stay. It can change. There's good days and bad days. But one day down the line, this time is sure to stop. So the only time is now for the club. They do say you got to start from the bottom. It smells like someone's bottom and all. Hey, if it's good enough for the brownies, it's good enough for Josh. Hey, guys. What's up? <laughs> Give me some skin. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> OK, so I hear you guys want to hire the hall. Yeah, just a small gathering for a few friends. What? You said there'd be hundreds? <laughs> I don't think I did. Yeah, you did. You said we needed somewhere cheap, so it didn't matter if we trashed the place. Uh, I'm sorry, you're holding us. Guys, I'm afraid we only allow live music in really exceptional circumstances. Uh, no, but th these are exceptional circumstances. Yeah, I mean, um, we're actually um, doing the gig to raise money for... for a children's playground. Really? Yes. I mean, we all have places to hang about, like bus stops and that, but the younger kids, they have nothing. <sighs> Why don't you little bros hang here while I print you off a booking form? All right, just yeah. think about it. Yeah. yeah. You drill a bit. Now we've got to build a playground. What? No, we won't. Well, we? Of course we won't, you spanner. Well, you can't just keep the money. Relax, man. By the time we pay for this place, there'll only be like a fiver left. So what's the point? We get to do our first proper gig. No, you get to do the gig, and we just log your stuff about. All right, if you insist. OK, bros. There you go. Now, I'll need this signed by the morning. Oh, no, I can sign it right now. Oh, no, 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 no. Parents or guardian only? Dudes. Yeah, let's go. Oh, come on, Mum. No. I am not footing the bill when you and your mates set light to a church hall. Anyway, you and I agreed that you would concentrate on your schoolwork this year. I have been doing. That's not what Mr Bell says. Josh's behaviour continues to shock and all. You've got to stop getting caught cool like this, cuz. Look, Mum, it's for charity. What charity is that, then? Help for Josh? No, actually, it's for a children's playground. Oh. So you'll sign it, yeah. Maybe if you can show some improvement at school. But, Mum, I need this sign for tomorrow or I'm going to lose this book here. Fine. I'll sign it tomorrow night. If you can go a whole day without getting a detention. How could it slip her attention that every single day I only just miss a suspension? An hour after school for me is a convention. Call me by my AKA, Mr. Detention. No punishment where you don't see me. What school without the 4 OCC? Got my first debt on my first day in the worst way. Spraying milk at the nursery nurse. Hey, I'm already a veteran. Better than Dennis the Medicine. Horrid Henry combined with the gremlin. Anything your worst kid did, I can double. So me staying out of trouble is too much trouble, but... I really want to do this gig, so today I can't be the foolish kid, it'd be too sick. Rock into my music, maybe I can do it if I put my mind to it. Tuck my shirt in, get some Afro sheen. Pull my socks up, keep my nose clean. So nobody will guess that it's an invention. The prefect in disguise, Mr. Detention. Mr. Detention, Mr. Detention, Mr. Detention. Mr. Detention. Never miss the detention. Mr. Detention, Mr. Detention, Mr. Detention. Never miss the detention. Till now. <laughs> Josh, mate, you know about this gig of yours? I was thinking, you're gonna need a support act. Right? What? You, yeah? Nice one. Bruv, come on. I've got rhymes. I can help backstage anything. Anything, yeah? Yeah. Give us this as well. So I'm guessing I'm on then? Nah. It takes more than a cakey snack to get around me, fam. I was uh, wondering if there was any chance you could do that thing I asked quite a while ago now. So, out the instruments? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. 
Been a bit busy? Teaching? Maybe you could find the time today. One of your five free periods. I will give that some serious consideration. Flyers. Awesome. Bit old school, but nice. What's this? You know, jig? Why? A gig. To raise money for a new playground, wow. Yeah, I thought, you know, it's just good to give back to the kids. You should give it back. You shouldn't have flipping ticket in the first place. You know, you're pretty sweet when no one's looking, Josh Carter. Get away from my face, Agnet. <laughs> Hold on, ladies. I'm open too. Uh, you're... <laughs> Excuse me. When I'm looking those amps, right, with these guns, they'll be queuing up. Yeah, at this sick ball. Who does this? Yours. Oh, sorry. Oh, wait. Ask your plunger. This is my clean shirt. <laughs> Ding dong. Newman, Rogers, detention. What have you Carter, where are you off to? To tell the caretaker that there's been a spillage, sir. Right. Gotta move on, then. Get over it, Harris. It's just the smell of a man. Right then. Right then. Oh, sorry. No, it's fine. You carry on. Today we appoint our first ever school prefects. It's a bit of an experiment. Which we are confident will transform the school. I'm pleased to say that Tony, that's the chairman of the governors, to you, has agreed to help with the presentation. Any questions? Who are the prefect's going to be? Ah. Well, obviously, Mr Bell and I have been discussing various names. Which I have on a list right here. Oh. Hmm, decision had to be made. No, it's fine. I'm sure you know what you're doing. Indeed, I do. Check it out. I'll see you there, yeah? Ash? Ladies. Help yourself, Newman. It's interesting. Yeah. Should get a few people going. Yeah, on the wrong date. Isaac, you put the wrong date on them, you plank. But are you sure you don't need my help? Ten minutes! Ten minutes! Where's the scroll of honor? You have to put their names on it. Oh, right. No, lower. A bit lower. No, no, much higher. No. Anyone to add to the detention list? Tony. <laughs> Tony! Tony! I'll put it on your desk? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Mr. Bell? What is it now? Uh, it's just if you want names on this scroll, you're going to have to tell me what they are. They're on a list on my desk over there. Yeah, first on the list. Wow. Jesus had 12 disciples. In the film, 12 Angry Men, there were 12 angry men. Here at Elmsmere, we're going to have seven or eight prefects. Couldn't actually get 12. But anyway, these are the names of the prefects. Nero Johnson. Woo! 
Eli Grant. Yes. Agnes Adu. Yay. Sorry. There seems to be some kind of error on Mr. Bell's part. Really? No. These, these are the prefects you've chosen? Oh, yes. In that case, carry on. Alicia Rahant. Hello, Murphy. Isaac Rogers. We're going to be prefects. Oh, my mum is so signing up for me. Ash Newman. See you later. And finally, Zoe Marie Ingham. What? Family, apart from small Edward who lives next door, because he said I'd never amount to anything. Well, I'd say to him yes, is. Yes, thank you, thank you. Sorry, Marie. It's true that there have been some disciplinary issues. Kicking a raw chicken around the canteen. But that's exactly why I wanted to make these kids my prefects. It is. I wanted to give them a challenge, Tony. And more than that, I wanted to give them hope. I wanted to let them know that, unlike some, I hadn't given up on them. Sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. And this list I found on your desk, that's nothing to do with the prefects, then? Absolutely not. No. <laughs> Excuse me, Tony. Mrs O'Brien. Mr. Bell, hey, great choice of prefects. Are you trying to be funny? No. At first, I thought it was all a mistake, but then I heard what you were saying. Of and... course it was a mistake! And it was all your fault, too! Mine! Your detention list got mixed up with the prefects list. Oh. You are going to make sure that those degenerates behave like prefects are supposed to. If they mess up, someone is going to be in big trouble. When you say someone, but you. Like the badges, but when do we get our handcuffs? Don't be silly. They're not going to give us handcuffs. The most we're going to get is a taser. OK, no one is getting a taser. What? Keep walking. Like a chicken. I'm not walking like a chicken. You have to. We're prefects. And you can't make people walk like chickens. Well, what's the point? The honour. And you get a few little jobs to do. Jobs? Well, just a few little things at break time, like supervising homework. Oh. Little patrol, checking the loos. I ain't checking no loo jobs. Stop people pushing in the tuck shop queue. Yeah, but right, we're the ones doing the pushing in, so how's that gonna work? Duh. Do you know what? I'm out here. Yes. Yeah. I bet this isn't even real goal. Listen. Pants. Just hold on. Look, I was a prefect once. It's tough, but you get a lot out of it. Like... Oh, we got free pencils, a special tie, a common room with a pool table and a radio in. What room? Is it one of those smart rooms full of widescreen TVs playing cartoons? And would it have, like, solid chocolate seating? So even when you're sitting on the chairs, you could eat them. Bet a few ladies will come if I let them check my extensive monkey collection. The most fun you can have with a lad. Forget bachelor, this could be my actual pad. Dark, damp, dirt, leave all that behind. Better than every room in my flat combined. Proper, proper boss. Seeing is believing. Telly in the fireplace, mirrors on the ceiling. Big paintings and meat on the wall. Some butler called Jeeves in the hall. Gold plated toilets, jewels on the sink. And only the very, very finest orange drinks. Picture perfect palace for a pretty perfect princess or a queen like me. Strictly VIP. Basically, that's me, my Auntie G, my stylist Pierre. And it's just your while we're is Pierre. Also does his hair. Yeah, there's teddy bears everywhere. Precious jewels are on the staircase. All the things these stupid kids will never have at their place. Marshmallow pillows so sick, and you know the best bit. Stinky flipping Shelby Turner, she ain't on the guest list. You can have anything under the sun and moon. Do what you wanna do in our very own common room. In our very own common room. In our very own common room. You can have anything under the sun and moon. Do what you wanna do in our very own common room. Very 
Hey, Auntie, um, I think the school nurse wants to see you. Something about Nero's head and some railings. What? Yeah. Oh, oh. Gotcha. What are you doing here, Mitten? Just copying some flyers. Yeah, with no one out there guarding the door. Where's Dipsy and Lala? Anyway, Josh, I did say, you know, if you needed them. I said I didn't. Oh, I could hand these out. <laughs> no, this is my gig. Give me those, man. It's no diggy, man. Nero. Nero, give me the flyers. Yeah. Just leave yeah, me, man. Let me... Give me the... Just... You had better have a very good explanation. Oh, I think it's pretty clear what's happened. Carter thought that he would use the school's photocopying budget to advertise his own private gig. But luckily, one of my trusty prefects caught him red-handed. I had... Uh, about that, you are a credit to the school. As for you, Carter, detention. All right, you horrible lot, settle down. Ah, of course, the lists. Well, welcome to detention. Josh? I'm home. Your Aunt Bibi has brought home some cakes to celebrate Nero becoming a prefect. Mm, that's all. And she also brought home another letter from Mr Bell. And a bill for photocopying. Eleven pounds for some flyers. No, I'm, I'm phoning Watchdog. Uh just one day, Joshua, that's all I asked. Mum, I, I needed them for the gig. Oh, well, that's definitely not happening. But it's for the playground. No, Joshua, you had your chance. Now, can I at least trust you to give a check to Mr Bell? With an apology! It's cool. Yeah. No, but it was my fault you got dead. Relax, so... man. I sorted it. Forget it. I'm too... All right, Joshy. You win. Nero showed me. Showed you? Well, all this research you've done on the importance of children's playgrounds. So I I've changed my mind. I will sign your form. Which is great. <laughs> so where is it? No rush. I thought you need me to sign it, otherwise you'd lose your booking. Yeah, I think we already have. Got it. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll talk to the vicar, see if it's still available. No! No. Oh. You've already signed it, haven't you? Right, well, now I am phoning the vicar to tell him that your gig is off. Thanks a lot. Yeah. There he is, Josh. Josh, thank you, Josh. Thank you for our playground. Yeah, the thing is, Agnes... Thank you. Yeah, sure. No problem. Oh, wow. There's a poem on the other side. OK, um... The gig is actually off. <laughs> what about the playground? Kinda only said that so the vicar would let us use his hall. Right, so you never really cared at all? I should have known. Thanks a lot, Josh.
I've really done it this time I wish I could start over, press rewind I'm like an evil Pied Piper Cause I'm misleading all these innocent kids that I lied to I promised the playground, oh they got some waste ground As I done their bedroom walls, they'll have to take down It could have been great round here, now they're down and out Should have been the one to turn their lives like a roundabout Focused on myself, trying to build my gold slides of fame Should have had them reaching for the stars on a climbing frame This is why I'm a liar, promised them proper things Tried to push them higher and higher like they were on the swings Now what am I gonna bring? Pain and resentment I deserve more than a day of detention Unless I can turn this around, man, I must There's only one way to win back their trust Just seeing their faces upset I know there's no way I'm giving up yet The gig could go ahead, the church, we can't use it So all I need is just another place to do this I can't be the bad guy who's got big lies Okay, I can do it But not this time Let me be the bad guy who knew we was wrong And start to put it right from the end of this song I can't be the bad guy who's got big lies Okay, I can do it But not this time Let me be the bad guy who knew we was wrong And start to put it right from the end of this song Like now Emma, tidy those shelves. Please. Emma, tidy those shelves. Emma, tidy those... Ah, oh, good. You've done it. Nice work. I'll go and clean your car and I'll miss it. It's the black one, yeah? Emma! <laughs> Isaac, you don't need to wash my car. You said I did, miss. Did I? I don't mind, miss. I'll clean it with my teeth if it means getting the common room. Isaac, someone's winding you up. What comedian told you you were going to get a common room? I still need to run it by Mr Bell. You haven't asked him yet. It'll be fine. Just carry on as you are and I'll sort out the room. I promise. Absolutely not. Why should those thugs get their own room? And all I've got is a converted toilet. It's the only way I can get them to cooperate, and it's working. You're saying that my choice of prefects has worked? Well, it will if we give them a room. <sighs> Fine. But that's it. If they want a pool table, they'll have to build their own out of old bits of wood or something. <laughs> Just where am I going to find a room that's free? <laughs> ah! Of course. It might not seem like much, but it's all yours. This place. Sir, do you realise how much work Isaac's done? He tied to the cupboard. Yeah, and Mr Bell is extremely grateful. I don't give a cuss about Ding Dong. Where's the pool table? Where's the radio? Yeah, this stinks. Wait, if, if we all pull together, we can really make something of this place. I like to make something of your face. I would have thought you'd known better, sir. Looks like I'm the only one left. So technically, that's gonna be my cue. Um, hello. Yes, hi. Um, I was just wondering, um, would it be possible for me to hire the community centre tonight? Ah, great, yes, um, the name's Josh Carter. Oh, no, that must have been another Josh Carter who lied to the vicar uh, Hello? <clears throat> what? Oh, all right, where are you lot off to? To tell Bill where he can shove his badges. Yeah, and he can have his rat-infested hole back, cos we're... We're not interested. Yeah. yeah. No, you can't do that. That's where I'm going to have my gig. That door. Yeah, well, you're going to help us clear it up, ain't you? Uh, no. Yeah, exactly. Why should we? Because all the money we get from the gig goes towards the playground. Hot. Half five pound of it. Oh, like a couple hundred. This way we won't have to pay for the room that we're using. Guys, whatever we make, it goes straight to the roundabouts. And even if we only make a tenner, at least we try it. Another successful day. I can't wait to tell Tony how well our prefects are doing. When I see him this evening, over dinner. Oh, so you're invited too. Right, doors are open. Yeah. 
Hang on, have some manners, please. Ladies first. Jay Carter's gig this way, everyone. Showing you. Would you like to make a donation, miss? I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, it's for a children's playground. And even you might have children one day, which is like disgusting, but possible. The fact that you are raising money for a good cause is, I'm afraid, not the point. I disagree. I think this shows exactly the sort of spirit and organizational skill that I saw in them when I made them prefects. Do you have change for it? No. And we know you didn't make us prefects, sir. I hadn't picked you all. Yeah, by getting your lists the wrong way round. That one went too difficult, sir. <laughs> I knew it. I'm a prefect, really. That's actually not the case. I think I'll leave you to it. Uh, what? No, wait! What about dinner? Mm, well, oh, dinner. dinner. <laughs> right, you lot. Prefect badges. And get out. And this room is out of bounds to all of you. I'm Carter. Oh, me, sir. Yes, you. Detention. I'm assuming all of this was your idea. Actually, it was more of a joint effort. Hmm. Well, in that case, I'll be writing to both of your parents. Get out. Hey, man. I'm sorry you didn't get to do your support slot, man. No worries. The next one, yeah? <laughs> can't live with them, and you can't kick them out. When they're up, they rub it in your face, kick you when you're down. But when no one understands them, you know what they're on about. Who's gonna be around? Gotta find a common ground. If you know so much about me. 